Hello and welcome to Seppu's first video tutorial. Yep, this is me, your lovable Huggle Seppu too. So, well, enjoy. And uh, this first tutorial's on UV mapping. Now, I'm using a very simple UV map tool to do this, but it's a very effective one. And it should show you where to mark the seams for creating your own um, UV map on a model. Of course, you'll need a more visual um, UV mapper, so nothing like Lit Unmap. Um, this program, this little program is called 3D Coat, so if you've got a bit of money, it might be worth buying to do your UV mapping in, amongst other things. Anyway, let's get started with the head, which really won't take long. Just got to mark all the seams beneath his chin, so we can section off his head completely from the rest of the body in the UV map. So here we go. There we go, that's the head sectioned off. As you can see, as soon as I did that, he changed colours. And of course, if you look down here, uh, where it says UV preview, this little program shows you what your UV map's going to look like. At the moment, it looks bloody rubbish. So, let's sort this problem out by adding more seams. And you see it's already changing in the UV preview into something a bit more better looking, should I say. Something more effective. And now we'll just cut a little bit from beneath the chin. Oops, mistake there. There we go. Oh. There we go. There's your head. You might want to rotate it in a final UV map or something like that, but uh, it's fairly effective. Not perfect, but it will do the job. To the same, nonetheless. Now we need to do a UV for the torso. So let's cut the torso in two. So it will show the front and the back. Underneath the arm, and now to the other side. Almost there. is really nothing to it. That's the torso split up. As you can see, it's really dominated by these arms here. So let's cut the arms away from the rest of the model. So this is essentially all it is, is your, if you like, cutting out of a piece of paper. It's one way to think of it, if you will. And there you go, little darling sweethearts we have. Well, I'd say that's a, a good enough UV map. I mean, it's quite basic but as you'll see from the UV preview it's quite effective so we've got planar there and then we've got planar at the back of course the back's upside down but don't really matter 
and the arms are separate from the rest. Exactly what. So let's unwrap it. Which will take a few seconds. And then apply it. Let's go into a little painter. Oh, and let it sort itself out first. There we go. Oh, now it's going to the painter. So here's my high poly version. Now, you'll probably see a couple of weird looking errors on my model. Not sure why they exist, but I think it's possibly something to do with the program conflicting with any polygons beneath. So it's really a calculation error. But when you get to actual painting a um, character in a photo program, it really don't matter. It will not show up and to prove that. I will oh, open this up if it will let me. See, oh. pop them should fade away. Anyway, that matters right now. And just to show you how it looks, you have a nice UV matte object. So, oh, that's sculpting. We want uh, some colour on that. Which is not letting me. There we go. Now we've got some colour there, let's remove the depth. And let's just write my name on him. And of course, there's no any confliction on his face or his ear for that matter. It all translates nicely. Uh, see, you have yourself one UV bat object, and if you're like me, you can get really childish and do little smiley faces as well. There you go folks and that concludes the little tutorial.